comic browsing just for a moment so we can talk comics that are coming out this week um are you connected to the wi-fi no i am not okay <laughs> sorry if it's a little grainy usually it does get it starts off grainy and then i take it i don't know we can't figure this out i all have right. pretty good service here so it should be all right but uh grab your coffee and we are talking about this week, which is December 19th, uh, the comics that we're most interested in reading. So, let's um, get started. Do we start with DC? No, Dark Horse. Our first, actually, I want to ask how you guys are were this week, and Jenna, how was your week this week? <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, same. It was a pretty rough week. Um, a <laughs> rough week. Yeah, and I can say, okay, I'll move, I'll talk about this later. Let's, let's go back to uh, comics. So Boom Studios has Black Patch number five coming out this week. This is one of those stories that um, I'm going to save a couple, well, yeah, I've been saving a couple issues to read for the Christmas break, because Christmas break, I'm going to be reading, I feel like, a lot. It's just like a nice chunk of time to not have any responsibilities for a little bit, <laughs> and this is one of those stories because I'm a big Matt Kint fan. So Black Badge 5 on Boom, I will pick that up. I don't have anything for Dark Horse, do you? Nope. Okay, so this is going to be pretty quick. It's going to be <laughs> super quick. Let's move on to DC. DC, I have Catwoman number 6. Mm -hmm. Number 6. It six. is a new story arc, I believe. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, this so is really good, but really sweet. It's chai. This doesn't taste like tea at all. It's this like is like orange chai. This is like hot chocolate, but it's not hot chocolate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Catwoman. If you haven't, if you've been wanting to jump on Catwoman, um, now's the time to do it. The new star story arc is beginning. Joelle Jones again. She's amazing. Um, what else? She's actually going to be at WonderCon this year. If uh, any of you West Coast folks are interested in going. I really would love to go see Joelle Jones at WonderCon and get her to sign my like lady killers and stuff. Um, but yeah, so just a heads up on that. And mm. then there's a new one called Freedom Fighters. Uh, this one is, um, you know, my obsession with uh, alternate worlds where the okay. Nazis win. Not that I am a Nazi or I like Nazis, <laughs> but it's just really interesting to see how that would pan There's, out in the comic world. Yeah, like ju just the same reason we like Man in the High Castle. It's just right. a what if fictional, thank God it's a fictional scenario of mm -hmm. what would have happened it had Germany and Japan won. So I'm is this Freedom Fighters very similar to that? Um, it's the same premise. Oh, okay. But there you know, are people who are Freedom Fighters who are gonna try and take down the Nazis. That's awesome. That sounds like a, a, an interesting read. For DC, I have Pearl. Um, Pearl number five is coming out. That's another one that I'm just waiting um, to read all at once because these stories are just, they're too, they're really good. <laughs> so I, know. I want to just in, in, absorb it all in one shot. But um, also Wonder Woman is coming out with, well, not Wonder Woman herself, but DC is coming out with a Wonder Woman, Diana Prince celebrating the 60s hardcover. So that actually might make a really good Christmas gift for someone who is a diehard Wonder Woman fan. The stories are set in the late 60s where Wonder Woman leaves um, her superpowers behind to become like a, an, an agent. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's a secret agent and he, that's, that's a pretty cool storyline. So if, if you have a Wonder Woman fan in your life, I would suggest looking into the $125 hardcover for her. Oh, I thought <laughs> it was 126 Hundred maybe hundred and one twenty five ninety nine maybe I know it's expensive <laughs> yeah that that's it's an expensive hobby Com like comic book lovers know that a lot of your disposable income goes towards all comics <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's what we have for DC moving on to Image uh, I have Extra Sisters Gideon Falls Gideon Falls is one that a lot of people are huge fans of. 
I have the first tray paper back for that. I haven't touched it yet, but the art looks awesome and the premise is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. After you finish that, I want to, I actually want to grab that one. And, um, okay. Cause I think I only read the, fir the first two issues. So I want to, yeah, I want to catch up on, on Gideon Falls. So a, n a new series coming out on image is called hardcore. It's a comic, uh, concept created by Kirkman and Silvestri. So basically there's a program called Hardcore and what they're able to do is uh, take over people's bodies and have them be their soldiers. Like, so the, the concept is really interesting. Um, Kirkman is not writing it or um, that, so, but he basically created the concept. So that's why I'm interested. Oh, he's the creator. He, yeah, he just, the concept. Story I, by. Story by, I guess, yeah. Yeah, Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So that's that. And what I am most excited for this week, though, is Middle West Two. So Middle West Two is that series that a lot of people just really enjoyed. The the number one. So number two is coming out, and I am so picking that up. So yeah. Um, oh, and Outcast is back. So for those of you who do like to read Robert Kirkman, uh, Outcast is back for a new storyline. He is working on so many things, that man. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably not sleeping at night. Or, yeah, and he's probably living, has a clone to help him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what's next, Marvel? Marvel. Uh, we've got Uncanny X-Men. Again, we're going to be saying that for a while. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'm one behind, but it's pretty good. It keeps a lot of the charm from X-Men Red. I know we were all very sad to see that go. Um, I still haven't read the last issue of that because I'm just like, no. You don't want to let it go. I don't want to. But thank God for Uncanny X-Men for picking up a lot of that and dispersing it. Gotcha. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All Next. <of> um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really enjoying these holiday um, one-offs. I, I guess, yeah, one-offs. Mm -hmm. But so Marvel has Seasons Beatings. That's a holiday um or issue coming up from Marvel that I, I just love Christmas so I'm gonna take a look at the, the right. holiday stuff that's what we have for um, comics that we're interested in reading this week how about you guys let us know if there's anything that you think should be on our list and if we are sleeping on something and we should get out of our our snooze our snooze <laughs> to be reading uh, but I think the biggest thing that people were talking about this week is the spider. The new Sabrina. <laughs> Sorry. The Spider-Man. <laughs> Was the Spider-Verse stuff. Some people were talking about the Spider-Verse stuff. Okay. <laughs> Full everyone. disclosure. Jen and I aren't that well-versed in, spi in the Spider-Verse. I used to be, and then I stopped caring. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's not... I guess it's just not a hero that we identified with. No, I didn't identify with him. So now that all of this Spider-Man excitement is going on, I guess I don't really get it too much, but... I think I do want to see the Spider-Verse, though. Spider-Gwen is what came out this this week, right? Mm -hmm. Spider-Gwen is what came out this week, and Anna Reed's comics actually made me excited to watch it because she was really, really into it. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm probably going to check uh, Spider-Gwen out. And, but yeah, it's it's just one of those things that I, I can't I can't uh, grab onto fully fully That's wholeheartedly. Okay. I'll get there. I'll get there. You'll get there. Especially since it's going to be all over the place and I won't have a choice. <laughs> so then, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so the next most talked about thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did the you next... guys watch the new Sabrina episode? So yes and no. I have 20 minutes left of it. You have 20. I finished it. You finished it. I finished oh. it. I really liked it. It was so much fun. It was very seasonal. Mm -hmm. It was about you know the solstice. Winter solstice <laughs> and the Yuletide log. <laughs> and the Yuletide log. <laughs> I re I actually the 30 minutes that I watched of it, I felt I ended up uh, getting super tired and going to, going to bed, which happens to me with everything I do. But um, ooh. Someone's calling. <laughs> We're taking callers now. Uh, <laughs> We're not taking callers. <laughs> no, we're definitely not taking callers. That would be that would be a lot. <laughs> so, uh, Sabrina, it was just a whole lot of fun to watch. I really loved the first series, the first season. So, getting this holiday. Um... Oh. <laughs> I wonder who's calling. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, finishing that thought that Sabrina, this holiday, see, um, what is it called? Episode was just so so awesome to get because I it's I know that it's coming back in April, but I, I really liked it and I want to just continue watching Sabrina. Yeah, I, I really looked forward to this episode. Um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter, but I was really enjoyed the whole ten uh, ten episode format that Netflix is trying to push um, because it was just a nice amount mm -hmm. of something without too much filler which was i think a lot of people had a problem with all of the marvel shows is that they were 13 episodes so yeah. there was just pretty much three episodes worth of filler yeah <laughs> but here there really wasn't much room for that and there was actually a lot going on in the season a lot to like keep track of and a lot of stuff that sabrina was getting into and i was like girl yeah her you are she, her like, growth was just amazing actually to see in this holiday episode because yeah. she was it, it's she's so much more mature it's like she mm -hmm. went a couple months to the the school of uh the, the academy and now she's just like a, a really badass witch she is and you also really see like her development as a teenager and how like her aunts are like well why didn't you just ask us yeah and she's kind of like oh yeah that's I right i don't need you I can I can ask you guys for things and not get in trouble. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't have to be afraid uh, I, or I, be completely rebellious. But I really do like her platinum blonde hair. I'm like, I want platinum blonde hair. I don't, I really don't want platinum blonde hair. But I don't like it. <laughs> I like it. I don't like it. I think it I makes like her it. look a little too old. But that's the point. Yeah, I know. That's a, it's mm -hmm. the difference, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. But I'm super excited for the April release of the second season. So um, I think... <laughs> I found out that Benicio Del Toro is playing a swiper in a Dora live action movie. <laughs> Continue. I, I just think that uh, Benicio Del Toro does make a really good swiper, if you think about it. Like, just put a little bandana around his, his eyes and he <laughs> looks like swiper. But anyway, the <laughs> also this week, people were very upset about Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Um, I don't know why we need a Sonic the Hedgehog movie, but I guess... I would love if they brought back the show. Yeah, the show is really good. Like, in anim the, the animated series. I'm not sure if this one is, like, live action. It's... No, it's not live it's action. It's not? Okay. How are, how are they going to make that live action? They made Pokemon live action! Eh. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had humans in it. The, the, the Dr. Robotnik is human. Kind? Mm, not really. <laughs> well, anyway. Anywho, that's coming out. Um, maybe I'll see it. Maybe I won't. Nah. I used to just be a big fan of the Game Gear game. Mm -hmm. I'm aging myself. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> um, I think that's it, though, Jenna. I think we wrapped up. Did we? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. That was quick. Did any... Yeah, it's pretty quick today. Because we started a, a little bit late. But does yeah. anyone have any comments to share with us? Um, had, if you did not, I don't know if you took a look. Um, people said, hola, hello, hi, hola. waving, glad you mentioned the holiday episode, forgot it was there, Birdman 53, um, uh, ni hao, hola, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I just love all of the internationalness that we get sometimes. Yeah, it's pretty people. cool. Most of our, um, community, I feel like, it is in New York in the New York area. We have a lot of people who connect with us in this area. But it's pretty awesome to see when there's like people from Ireland or the UK or yeah. Australia that are into Alchemist. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, thanks for being our supporters and our fans. <laughs> so don't forget to support your local comic book shop. Our local book local comic book shop is Manifest Comics. And don't forget to send us your holiday mail because we are looking for that. And I was yeah. really serious about the give us uh, the caption for that picture because I, we have a couple of things that we can easily give away to someone right. as a Christmas gift. So I think that's it, Jenna. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's it too. <laughs> I'll probably think of something as soon as we sign off. But let's start a fire figuratively until next weekend, <laughs> which is the weekend before Christmas. Yay! <gasps> Okay, Summer Sol I mean, winter solstice. Winter solstice. <laughs> Send us your questions as well. Uh, we'll put up a post for that. We'll do an extra long Christmas episode. Yay! For you guys, holiday episode. <laughs> we celebrate. Bye! Bye! <laughs>